Yeah, you know. I love it. I love it. Uh oh. I got you. Bumper cars. I got you. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> What's up? How's it going? How's that for Test. You? It's all working. <laughs> it's all working. I checked. I just checked. Check one. How's your Comic Con? Great, man. <laughs> it's my first. It's my oh, first. first ever? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's nuts. Yesterday, well, I, I still have a relative amount of anonymity. And so I strolled around, took in all the sights and sounds, and did some zombie things. It was great. Next yeah. year, you'll need the Spider Man mask. That's next All year. good. Yeah. It's actually, I think it's kind of fun to be able to walk around in, in like, a costume. costume because that way you actually get a lot of freedom and then you just get to be like all the rest of us just mash through everybody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I should have I, I yeah, I wore I wore Battlestar Galactica shirt. And I feel like there wasn't there weren't a lot to people so I was like standing out a little bit, so I was a little like but I was fine. Okay, now I totally feel like I saw you somewhere on the floor. I had a shirt that said frack off on it. Yeah. It's black. Did you see me? Probably not. Plus it's a BSG shirt, sorry. Um, okay, so, I mean, it, it's an interesting position to be in such a high-profile show yeah. and with a lot of eyes on it initially. So, talk a little bit about kind of what your experience with the fan reaction for the initial pilot is. I mean, just, I mean, just from what I've seen online and sort of seen being here is really all I've had so far in terms of fan reaction, but it's, but people are, are going crazy about it and they're really excited and, you know, some people are a little surprised at how much they're excited about it. Um, but great, that still means they're excited, and uh, and I don't know, it's 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 been like a real rush of of love towards the show, which is always a good place to start because you never know. Some people can start with a lot of skepticism, and, and we've gotten a lot of not of the opposite. Of that. So it's, it's, it's nice. Now we get a little up to it, but we will. What's the uh, most relatable thing about your character for you? Like, what was the thing about the role that made you decide this is the show you want to be in? Yeah. Well, I mean, of all, I did a lot of pilot season stuff this year, and this was the one role that I was like, oh, this is perfect. Like, it was, you audition for all these roles, and you kind of have to, like, mold yourself to fit each character, but this one was, like, just a, was kind of perfect from day one. And, and he's, and what I love about him is he's kind of like, he's kind of like the uh, the nerd's way in, you know. He's like the everyman kind of, the viewers sort of. Oh, I can relate to that guy because he's the guy that loves superheroes and he loves the, uh, you know, comics and and conspiracy theory, alien stuff. And uh, but he also feels like an outsider, you know, because he he doesn't have superpowers. Just spoil it right there. <laughs> no superpowers for me. But he's very smart. We'll say that he's very smart, and he's he's got a lot of other talents. In, in kind of relation to that question, because obviously we're running around in a BSG shirt, so I'm guessing you are a nerd. Totally, but I feel completely insufficient here. <laughs> I mean, I walked the floor, and I was like, I don't know what any of this is. Like, half this stuff, I was like, what is this? I was like, man, I gotta brush up my nerd though. Yeah, but I noticed that a lot of times... I'm a big TV like a, nerd. Yeah, That's when there's like a nerdy guy on a show, sometimes it's a stereotype versus, you know, like a real person. So is that, do you feel like, because you have that kind of nerd in yourself... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that he, we really play him as a nerd. We, we play him as a, as a very excitable young man. Uh, who is uh, just has a, a lot of things going through his head, and he's he has his own sort of insecurities as well that he has to sort of deal with. Um, and you know, you kind of compensate those uh, in different ways, and I think that's a lot of what sort of defines the average nerd is sort of trying to find who you are amidst a uh, world of, of normal. People. What do you, um, it's so exciting for us to have a female superhero show, oh, yeah. it's amazing. It's so, it's awesome. What do you hope that young women sort of take away from Supergirl? I, I think that they, they take away, uh, you know, and fi find their own sort of strength within because, because we see both sides of her. We see this sort of young, vulnerable, I'm still just figuring out who I am as a person. And then we see this secret side that nobody else knew about, but 
but is that really her? Like, who is the real person? I think it, it'll it'll have people really uh, go be strong enough to start figuring out who they really are and, and be okay and be strong about it. And um, and one of the things that I like about my character is that he he really likes her for who she is before she even knows that she's super girl. And I think that's really important for people to know that you don't have to have superpowers in order to be great and to be loved. That's great, thank you. Yeah. Can you talk about how your character's relationship evolves once you find out more about character? Well, I mean, I don't know much more than you guys. Uh, you know, he finds out in the pilot who she is, she tells him, and he freaks out. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I mean, uh, what, what I can probably say is that he sort of helps her discover her superhero persona, you know? Uh, you know, he knows all about superheroes and, and what they should all be doing and how, and that, you know, they should be fighting crime and he helps create her costume for her. And, uh, and I, I think we'll see, uh, we'll start to see more of, of, of their, uh, as he says, super best friends, uh, out lunch hours. So, oh, nice. um, yeah. Do you know much about, uh, your who you're loosely based on uh, the comics? And you know, I've heard. I've You've heard, heard rumors. Okay. Uh, I, I will say that uh, from what I know of that character, uh, my, I, I, I've, I've not many uh, similarities at this point. So we're creating like true origin stories and unique original origin stories for all of these characters, including Supergirl. And you know, uh, and, and including Win as well. So uh, I'll be interested to see where he goes and if he takes a path that people may expect, or if he takes an unexpected path. I don't would know. You, I don't know. <laughs> but would you want to kind of go dark side? In it? Would I think it would be to... cool. I would think it would be cool to explore that side because you know he's this young, youthful, excitable, really happy, energetic guy, and and you have to go through a lot of stuff to, to, to get to that place of darkness. So I would be really interested in in having those experiences and getting to portray the, that kind of energy. So we'll see. Thank you so much. Thanks, that was really great. I think this is